So at this point, I'd like to bring up probably the only grown-up in our office. <laughs> Uh, sometimes. The mostly. fabulous <laughs> Shannon Ice, who you've probably seen on TV, and our <laughs> resident mom. And now we'd like to start introducing our most wanted list for 2011 in alphabetical order. So we'll start with this first toy, which is based on the hottest game app ever. And you know what that is? It's Angry Birds. And from Mattel Toys, it's the Angry Birds Knock on Wood game. So we love this game uh, for a lot of reasons, but most importantly, with 100 million downloads of this app, this is the first offline game we've seen come from an app concept, and it's been brilliantly executed. The build it up, knock it down, competition, collaboration, a lot of fun for young players, all the great characters that you love from the online game, and we think it's going to be a great hit in family and kid play this year. Yay. These were hot 10 years ago. First relaunched in last November, They've been reintroduced this year with a whole new twist. They're Beyblade Metal Fusion from Hasbro. Combining collection, competition, and of course skill, Beyblade has become more than just a toy. As I was mentioning before, it's part of the social fabric of today's kids and part of their currency and for the kids who love it. You know, even within this fairly well-defined play pattern, Hasbro continues to innovate, and that's why we think this is so much fun, new dimensions of fun and excitement from Beyblade Metal Fusion. Thanks, Teddy. The leaders in the preschool category, Fisher Price, have entered the category with a toy that has two things that kids love, big and construction. Here's the big action construction site from Fisher Price. And we love this too. It is endless play for preschools, one of the best play sets we've seen this year. Preschool friendly RC that's color coded steering. And this play set has all kinds of big construction fun, from dumping sites to elevators that work, ramps that connect, and it's endless play for kids. Lots of open ended play, but also just free play. And we think it's a great RC, easy for the preschool set, and a ton of fun. I need help with that. We love things that are simple, original, innovative, but offer lots of play. And that describes Dagadar from Sepia. Dagadar is exactly the kind of toy I loved when I was in middle school and why I spent so much time in the head of the middle school's office uh, for taking to school. It happened to be my father as well. Uh, these are collectible supercharged ball bearings. There's games, challenges, but the thing we love most about it is there are no rules. The kids are totally in control of the, of the experience. They love making it up. It's got a whole social uh, context as well, and it's just fun. This is Dagadar from Sepia. We're always looking for the next hot toy from a small company. We've seen last year with Blip Toys and Squinkies, and this year we might have found another one. They've started flying off the shelves in July, and we tested them in parks, and everywhere we went, kids just gravitated to us. They're fireflies from iStar Entertainment. These are a really great affordable item that we think are going to be in stockings everywhere this year. And it really is sort of an intro first introduction in the category of yo-yo, which for 2,500 years has owned the play of plastic tied to string. So as you can see, it is a precision ballast in instrument that's between two strings. And all the kids do is give slack or tension to the string to perform tons of tricks. Lots of great online play, lots of great social play for kids, and they can invent their own tricks. It is just a light show unlike anything you've seen. And uh, as you can see, very quick and easy to, to pick up. This toy combines innovation with a cleaner room for parents. The one other important thing about this toy before we bring it out, you need to follow the instructions because somebody didn't. <laughs> it is the Hot Wheels wall tracks from Mattel. And you know, they work perfectly great it's for totally me clear. when I followed the instructions. Totally clear so, instructions. Yeah, this is one of those we saw last year and we really, we got a big kid to help us with this one. Uh, we see a product that makes all of us just stop and say, wow, and this was it. You know, Hot Wheels can get spread out all over the floor. It puts it vertically on the wall. It works. Uh, it's also a real innovation in one of the best, well, the best selling toy brand that's been around for a lot of years. So this is Hot Wheels wall tracks. Totally amazing. There are two tablets that are being introduced in 2011, and quite frankly, we love both of them. But they're very different what they have to offer, 
and you really have to learn the difference between the two. The first one we want to show you is the InnoTab from VTech. The InnoTab is VTech's introduction into the tablet market. It's really an alternative to handing your tablet to your child, and it's more age appropriate for them. So it has lots of onboard functionality from e-readers to motion games, an MP3 player, and even an organizer. And we have yet to figure out what a preschooler needs to organize, but we're excited about it. Um, but it's a lot of fun, and think we the thing we love about it, good value. You're going to see a lot of repeat play from these types of products, and downloadable content so it grows with your child. It's a really safe and age appropriate way to introduce your child to a tablet. We love this next toy, which brings innovation to the RC category. Very easy to use, but a lot of challenges with it. It's the laser stunt chaser, laser stunt chaser from Thinkway Toys. And we've spent plenty of time chasing this around our offices and homes. And what's fantastic about this is that the controller actually has the button so you can navigate as usual, or it is a light. And when you shine it on the floor, the car chases it around. It's brilliant. The precision is amazing. It's a two-sided vehicle, so every time it flips, it's sort of correcting itself to keep performing stunts. It's a great introduction into the RC category, great for young, young players and older players alike. And we think it's going to be a lot of fun for kids to start chasing the light as well as powering the play. We live in a branded world, and you don't realize all the brands around you and how much you actually absorb. This next item is the m favorite game in the Time to Play office. It is the logo board game from Spin Master. That the average American, depending on what you read, uh, sees 3,000 to 5,000 advertising images a day. Uh, think of when it rains, it pours, all the things that we know that have become part of our culture. Uh, this is a great game. It has all the classic elements of a good game. It's easy to learn. It's different every time you play it, and it creates a great social experience. The one thing we've learned is it's finally a game where an older player may have a little bit of an advantage because they've seen a lot more of the advertising. <laughs> but we've had a blast with this, and it's really a really great cultural uh, game. Still the top brand with moms for educational toys, LeapFrog has the other tablet out on the market with huge early sales. Matter of fact, this is one of those toys if you don't buy early, you might not get. Uh, it is the LeapPad Explorer from LeapFrog. Now, if you've been paying attention, you realize that I messed up because LeapPad should come before Logo. I should have spent more time playing with this. Mm -hmm. uh, we really love this. It's a real tablet, ex uh, great tablet experience. Uh, LeapFrog, they leverage technology, they le leverage curriculum, they have a lot of fun built into it. It's got a camera, an accelerometer, and it's got uh, software that auto-levels, so it stays with the kids as they play, and it makes them feel grown up. It's, it's just awesome. It's the LeapPad Explorer. Lego continues, Lego continues to contradict the economy. They actually have four great lines introduced this year. The continuation of Star Wars, City, Ninjago, and Alien Conquest. Well, we had to pick two, and we love Alien Conquest and Lego Ninjago, and Chris and Shannon will tell you why. Ninjago is one of the really creative lines they've created a theme around. Uh, this is Alien yeah, Conquest. That's Alien Conquest. There is my Ninjago. Um, and it is about these four, <laughs> four young ninjos, ninjas who have to master the art of spinjitzu. But really what you're going to see is great play set wrapped around role play, social gaming, collaborative building, all the fun that you know from LEGO, but some really great themes this year. You know, LEGO's always had construction's all been about three things, about building, displaying, and playing. LEGO has, has always nailed the first two. Now they've really, in the past couple of years, made the play a central part of it. With Alien Conquest, there's not only really unique uh, models to build, there's online games, there's all kinds of interaction. It really is a wonderful play experience that complements the building and, of course, the pride in creating something that looks so cool. Thanks, guys. Oh, there you go. And <laughs> But that, that's why you can put it back together again. There you go. When I first saw this toy last October, as we previewed toys a year in advance, I didn't like it. You know, we looked at it and said there was a lot of magic, but there wasn't a lot of play to it. However, when we got the final product, we changed our minds. There was actually a lot of play to it, and the magic and fun is there. It is Light Sprites from Wowee. We love it. We love it when we get surprised by how well an execution delivers on a concept. We see things in early concept stage. This is totally amazing. There's a strong narrative behind it, an outstanding design, magic as you play with it. Go play with it over there later. And it's something unique and sort of breakthrough in the highly competitive small dial aisle that complements other things kids are playing with 
This is light sprites from Wowee. Since this brand was introduced last year, the line has been red hot. These dolls have been flying off the shelves. And last year, Monster High was the hottest selling fashion doll. This year, sales are going to be about five times last year, and their lead line in our favor is the Monster High Dead Tired line. And I can echo that. A lot of social currency in these Monster High dolls in my, in my daughter's <laughs> school. Um, but what you're going to see here is the uh, Dead Tired line. So this is truly one of the most creative themes that's happening in the fashion doll category right now. And all of the characters are going to be donned, and of course their best bedtime attire, which is far more fancy than anything I could dream of. And these are their sleep chambers. So also in the set and in the line, you're going to see very unique bedtime sets for each of the dolls. And you can see the aquatic chamber, and this is the, this is the, um, what is that called? It's the coffin, coffin. jewel box. It's the coffin box. <laughs> and it doubles coffin. as a I'm jewel box. I'm right at it. Because you have cool to sleep with your jewels. jewelry. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um, but at any rate, lots of great fun, lots of great attention to detail for each of these dolls. The girls are really relating to them. They love to explore their personalities online and off, and Dead Tired is a great extension of an already very hot brand. <laughs> For the first time, Nerf has brought foam discs to the blaster category. We received, the, we received the Nerf Vortex line, and we actually fell in love with the blasters, showed them to kids, and each kid actually had a different favorite. And for that reason, with a, a variety of price points, here's the Nerf Vortex line. Nerf is a classic play pattern that is not going anywhere anytime soon. We were so impressed by, by the new disc design the accuracy of the firing over distance, and it takes a lot of design and engineering to come up with something that is so basically simple but so exciting to play with. It also speaks to the fact that the Nerf brand knows what their core players want, and it just keeps innovating to deliver it. This is the Nerf Vortex line. These are two of the four uh, blasters that are in the category, in the, in the line. Trading cards continue to be popular with kids, and with the hit show on Cartoon Network featuring Blast 3D technology, which you'll learn about in a I second, here's Redekai from Spin Master. I hope I can do this justice. This is such a great innovation and really great play pattern that's expanding this collectible trading card category. So Redekai, at its core, is a transparent card that has all the powers. The game is actually designed to stack the cards on top of each other, and as you do, your powers and the effects of your attacks are all built into the game so you can see down to see how the game has possessed, progressed. We love the creative elements of it. We love the 3D Blast technology. Lenticular design. That 3D Blast, 3D. Blast technology, <laughs> which is essentially a 3D and animation effect that really adds to the gameplay, but it doesn't require special glasses for you to see it with your regular human eyes. So Redekai is going to be really blowing up this category and lots of great online and offline play as well. Take the hottest big doll from last year and add hair play, and you have Silly Hair La La Loopsy we first from saw, MGA. We first saw this as a concept and prototype two years ago, and we're immediately taken by the sort of ragdoll interpretation. Uh, kids loved it, moms love it, they all love this sort of open-ended, non-directed play, and now you've got hair play that even the youngest kid can do and feel successful at. It's got a unique look. Tons of play, and it's just captured hearts everywhere. This is Silly Hair La La Loopsy. What child doesn't like to spy on people? Well, kids can take spy into an all new level, whether it be with their friends or with these. Spying on your parents is pretty easy also, <laughs> as we have learned. These are the SpyNet Stealth Video Glasses fabulous. from Jack Specific. And so is spying on Shannon, and as I was caught on camera making candid remarks that I think have since been erased. But they have. No, we still have them. <laughs> yeah. These are easy to use, really great for kids. Um, and, and the technology is there's an LED light in the center of the bridge. It's powering the camera that you can't see. So only they know they're spying. Simple controls on both sides of the glass. Classes. takes up to 2,000 still pictures or 20 minutes of video, so parents and siblings, beware. Um, it can all be on the record because it easily connects with a USB cord right to the computer and your spying goes public. A, a lot of great fun, a lot of great role play from SpyNet, and uh, we think it's going to be in homes everywhere. So. And our last item is no ordinary activity or no ordinary puzzle. 
It's something that we really haven't seen. It's more like a piece of art. It's 3D breakthrough puzzles from mega brands. You know, kids, families, and puzzle enthusiasts of all types and skill levels are going to love this. It combines traditional puzzling, jigsaw puzzling, with paper folding to create a wonderful, low tech, but very magical 3D effect. Uh, taking something so basic for a toy that's over 350 years old and breaking through with this level of innovation is a totally different kind of play experience, and we're just very excited about it. These are the 3D breakthrough puzzles. Thanks. And that is our most wanted list for 2011. I'd like to thank the kids. Kids, can you come out here? Our TV spokes model. Come on up front. Thanks, the kids, for a great job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>